uh, Louis Davis uh, submission for the virtual region Eureka Science Competition 2019. Uh, PNI, a novel solution for drying damp homes. Cold, damp, mouldy homes are a reality for nearly half of New Zealand. 49% of us live in homes that are damp or show visible signs of mould, often in the most deprived parts of the nation. The simple fact is the cost of either renovating or heating a home is too high for thousands. Something needs to be done. These damp homes come with their fair share of consequences. Every year they cost New Zealand $145 million, hospitalise 30,000 children, cause lifelong lung damage, and worst of all, 20 children die solely due to the state of their housing. The previous national government has tried to fix this, but to no avail. The current Labour government has pledged to build 100,000 affordable homes. However, in a recent announcement, it was found that Kiwi Build is far behind schedule. So what do we do during this long waiting period before these adequate homes are available? Well, we need to dry these homes. And I would say we can do this by using a cotton material that has been treated with a polymer PNI PAAM, PNI for short. This material is extremely hydrophilic and hygroscopic, so much so that it absorbs 340% of its own weight in water vapor. And as this material is a fabric, it can easily be shaped into anything. For example, if it were in the shape of a roll, it would easily be moved. And what's more, it would have a very high surface area to volume ratio, meaning that the rate of water absorption would be quite fast. Then the aim would be to make this roll weigh about two and a half kilos, and that way it could absorb eight litres of water vapour, the daily amount produced by a family of four. Now you may be thinking that drying this will be quite bothersome, but it won't be, because the polymer is special in the sense that at 32 degrees Celsius, which is the lower critical solution temperature, it undergoes a chemical change to become extremely hydrophobic. Below the LCST, the globule of the PNI polymer forms hydrogen bonds with water. The water molecules then reorientate themselves around the non-polar part of the polymer, and as such, entropy decreases, enthalpy increases, and it dominates the Gibbs free energy. Above the LCST, the entropy now dominates the Gibbs free energy, and as a result, the polymer forms hydrogen bonds to itself and not the water. This means that the water can no longer bond and the polymer dehydrates. This process is completely reversible, meaning that the material can be reused indefinitely. As the housing crisis disproportionately affects those who are most deprived in New Zealand, it would be unfair to expect individuals to burden the cost of these rolls and their subsequent drying. So we should set up a uh, socialised system where at community centres in deprived areas, one will bring in their wet roll, they'll put it into a drying unit and take a dry one home with them. So how much will this cost? Well, in New Zealand, as of last year, there were 1.2 million homes. About half of them are damp, so we need 600,000 rolls. Now we can assume that most of these homes are in deprived areas. Within New Zealand, in the four most deprived deciles in New Zealand, there are 760 deprived, oh sorry, 760 census unit areas, which is approximately equivalent to one community. If we were to buy 20 industrial ovens per area, which would be able to dry the rolls, with an internal volume of 0.4 meters cubed, it would cost about $20 million, as they cost a bit less than $1,000 each. We would then have $125 million remaining for the rolls. Uh, as these rolls aren't yet commercially available, we would have to have a maximum budget for them. As we have the $200 per roll, this should be more than enough, considering in various papers they have been quoted as cheap. And then how much do these drying units cost to run? Well, 760 of them, oh sorry, they all have the same power rating of 1.2 kilowatts. If 760 of them were to run continuously every second of every day for an entire year, and if we bought the power at 35 cents per kilowatt hour, running 760 of them would cost $2.8 million. Then if we were to run 20 of them per area, we would only spend about $55 million in power. 
and we can assume that this would greatly reduce the previously mentioned the $145 million. And as a result, New Zealand would save significant amounts of money. So much so that in the minimum of eight years before Kiwi Build was finished, we could save upwards of half a billion dollars. So this is very economically viable. The simple fact is, New Zealand has damp homes, and they are damaging us as a nation. This PI treated cotton will work, it will dry these homes. So all we need to do is obtain these drying units, get these rolls, and a warmer, drier, but most importantly healthier future will be a reality for thousands of our worst off Kiwis. Thank you.